I'm one of those people that if I hear somebody say, well, we don't really think you're going to be able to do this again, well, that right there is an open invitation for me to say, okay, I'm going to prove you wrong. You know, I mean, the challenge I faced was stage three colon cancer. Sort of surreal going to see a patient who had just been diagnosed with colon cancer, who he and I are the same age. And typically when we think of colon cancer, we generally picture someone later in life. We don't picture colon cancer affecting someone like Chris, who is a personal trainer, who has an eight pack of abs, who probably has 1% body fat. We're seeing more and more um, colon cancer in young patients in their you know, 30s and 40s, and we really don't know why. Cancer does not discriminate. Doctor comes walking in and, you know, tells me, you know, terribly sorry, but what we removed was cancerous tumor. It was complete shock when I was able to look in the mirror for the first time when I got home. Skinny, sick, cheeks drawn in, you know, things like this just scared me. As a result of surgery, initially after surgery, Chris did lose weight, which is very common. Following surgery for colon cancer, he was treated with a course of uh, adjuvant chemotherapy. I mean, the cancer center, the nurses there, I mean, I think that they're the greatest people, you know, you, in the world to be able to do that to begin with. My very first treatment, the nurse sat with me for four hours right there, just talking to me. I wouldn't expect somebody to do that. Here at the, the Cone Health Cancer Center, there's a huge team of people taking care of a, a patient with cancers. You know, it starts at the front desk, uh, the laboratory, we have, a, we have specialized oncology nurses, a nutritionist, a nurse navigator that helps the patient uh, through the entire uh, process. When some of our younger patients meet Chris and they see Chris and how he looks, he, he gives them hope. He represents strength, courage, um, determination, a willingness to help others. He's been very uh, uh, instrumental, uh, not only here in town, but nationally in, in raising awareness uh, for colorectal cancer, in, uh, especially in the young population. Now, it's not just me trying to prove something. It's trying to make it to where I'm able to help others by showing them that no matter what is going on, you can still work hard and strive to be better every single day, regardless of what your current situation is. Just don't give up.